National Assembly Speaker Tani Mudise's animal cruelty case continues today at the Potrestrum Regional Court. Mudise's legal representative has made an application for uh, discharge following evidence by a former caretaker at the farm. Our reporter Bafedile Morani has also been following the story and joins us now live for the latest. Bafedile, part of what we've heard from the court itself is just the, call it worrisome state that many of those animals were in. Help us place how that's significant in the case. Well, up to so far, Ayanda, we have had about six witnesses who have been brought here by the private prosecution, which is Afri Forum, in this regard. And amongst them, one who is regarded as a key witness, it is the Bokomo Gaedi, who, is, who was the caretaker there. Now, as you indicated there, that the defense in this case, uh, which is Dalim Poku in this regard, um, he has actually applied that Mudise be, re, be discharged from this case because they should actually blame the person who has locked up the animals and left them there to hunger uh, or actually starvation, which is the Bohomokaid, who was the caretaker. We've had him when he was testifying that he was forced to leave the farm because he was hungry. He did not have food himself as well as the animals. Then he was forced to lock up, in particular, the pigs, the sheep, as well as the goats, uh, and left and went, go, uh, went home in Mahikeng. Therefore, the defense is saying that the person who should be held accountable in this regard it is him because he's the one who locked up those animals inside therefore they couldn't get any chance to go out uh, to nibble outside in the grass now we are expecting to hear the response from the public uh, private prosecution rather as to why would they actually dismiss the application by the defense today now you would remember that um, as one of the, uh, the key witnesses there who also came to, uh, to the stand, uh, the, the animal doctor has indicated that um, most of the animals, after doing a post-mortem in one of the dead sheep, he indicated that they died or emaciated due to uh, dehydration or due to starvation. Now, that has also been uh, used as the evidence as to what exactly led to some of the animals being found uh, that in that uh, farm of Mudisa back in 2014. So we understand that some of the animals, in particular the pigs, were cannibalizing on the dead carcasses. That is the evidence that have been brought forward here at the court. Now, this case, it is taking place at the time of the African National Congress step aside rule. We've seen a lot uh, of people asking on social media as to whether Tandimu Dise will also step aside. I have engaged the African National Congress in the province, um, which is led by the IPC, asking if she will also step aside because today it is the D-Day for all those who are facing charges at court to step aside. And they have indicated that she's not part of the people in the list that has been sent to the House. And therefore, I ask them as to why is she not there. I haven't yet any answer, so we hope hoping to speak to them because she has actually seen a lot of support from the ANC leadership in the province as well as some members of the ANC Women's League here in the province. And it's an important question to be asking, of course, because also in the Northwest is a lot of, call it discomfort, discord from the likes of Supra Mahuma Pelu, who in some respects feel like they are the ones being targeted with the step aside resolution. Well, of course, we are still waiting to see if we can get an answer from the IPC coordinator, Tomani Chauke. He was also uh, part of the court yesterday. He was here to support Tandi Mudise. I have posed the question to him over the, uh, during this week, actually, and he indicated that the name of Tandi Mudise is not on the list of the five people who have uh, been sent to Lutila House to the Secretary General developments taking place side by side there at uh, the Northwest Province. Bafedile Murani, thanks very much indeed for joining us live now uh, at the Potterstrom Regional Court watching this animal cruelty case involving National Assembly Speaker Tani Modise. But in the backdrop, of course, real questions being asked about ways through which she is or isn't affected by the step aside resolution, which is causing a lot of unrest elsewhere in the province. We're watching those for you, no doubt. Still